Okay, so good, uh, good day to everyone. Today we will be discussing about translating verbal expressions to algebraic expressions. Okay, so this will be the first topic in the lesson of algebra. So ibig sabihin, unti-unti po nating i-introduce yung mga important words or vocabulary phrases na kailangan yung tandaan para po mabilis nating may discuss yung mga topics sa algebra. Para po magkaintindihan tayo, no? So, again, just like any language, we will need perseverance and hard work so that we will be able to uh, build up our confidence in using the language. So, let us proceed with our objectives. So, our objectives will be to be able to translate English phrases to mathematical phrases and English sentences to mathematical sentences. Napo? But then, we will focus more on phrases to phrases Napo? or yung ating tinatawag na expressions. So, let us first define what algebra is. Algebra is the branch of mathematics which involves expressions with variables. So, para po sa, para po may, medyo may konting idea na kayo, no? When we say variables, these are, uh, this pertains to letters that are used to represent unknowns. Okay? So, nandito na sa algebra yung tinatawag natin uh, solving for x or solving for the value of y, no? So, Okay, yung masyadong kabahan sa algebra kasi yung ibang solving nito um, is already introduced to you back then. Okay? So, it's the branch of mathematics which generalizes the facts in arithmetic. So, kaya mapapansin ninyo, um, parang yung mga kalalabasan ng ating mga sinusulat ay para pong yung mga formula na ginagamit natin dati. For example, in solving the area or perimeter or volume of solid figures. No? So, yun yung mga examples. No? Yung, mga, yung mga formula doon na sinasolo natin dati, those are part of algebra. Okay, so the language of algebra is composed of three parts or three components. We have the variables, the numerals, and also the symbols. So the variables, again, these are letters used to represent what is unknown. So for example, in the formula P equals 2L plus 2W, which is the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, P L and W are what we call variables. In the formula of, let's say, perimeter of a square, the variables will be P and also S. Okay? So, another is, another component will be the numerals. Na po. So, dalawang klase yung numerals natin. It can be coefficient or constant. Na po. So, pag sinabing coefficient, for example, in the same formula, we have 2 as our coefficient. Na po. So, bakit siya sinabing coefficient? Kasi kasama siya ng variable. Okay? So, 2 is with L and 2 is with W. So, another uh, formula that you're fr probably familiar yung sa ating um, conversion of temperature, no? So, halimbawa ay yung 9 over 5 C plus 32. Okay, kung hindi yung nagkakamali, no? So, ito po ay so Fahrenheit. Okay, so F, C, F and C are both variables. 9 is a coefficient, coefficient, and 32 is the constant. No, So, parehas naman silang numeral. Pero kapag po may kasamang letter yung atin pong um, number, no, so it's considered as a coefficient. Pag walang kasamang letter, no, that one is a constant. Now, we also have the symbols, no? So, we have four operational symbols, operations, no? So, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Ganun pa rin naman yan. Sa division, mostly we will use this fraction form, 
No, so this is also division. We have the relationship symbols, no, itong mga ito. Relationship. So mapapansin niyo kanina yung formula na P equals 2L plus 2W. No, this one basta may equal sign sa gitna, no, sa any basta isang equal sign um in any part of our um, statement, no, this one is what we call an equation. And then, um, for example, no, so a number, a number is greater than 11, no, so syempre, pag gumamit ka na ng ganitong symbol, this one is an inequality. Okay, so pa, sa, pa, sana po malinaw yun sa inyo. No, so, sa equation, syempre, equal sign lang talaga yung gagamitin. For inequality, syempre, nasan yung greater than, less than, meron greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Okay. So, for the algebraic term, no, so, yung magkasamang, um, pwedeng isang letter, yung isang, isang number, no, yung constant natin, pwedeng isang variable, Okay? Or pwedeng magkasama yung numbers or letters, no? So, sa isang term, tatandaan nyo po, no? Ang operation sa isang term will be multiplication, no? So, yung 2AB na tinatawag natin, it's 2 times A times B talaga. Okay? So, para lang po um, uh, organize yung pagkaka-present. So, we have 2AB. Same with this one, no? Ito naman po yung division. So, A over B. No, division siya. And, um, pag wala po kayong nakitang plus sign or minus sign, single term lang po ang count sa kanya. No? So, kapag halimbawa, ang nangyari na dyan is 2 plus AB, iba, iba na po ang tawag sa kanya. Ang tawag na sa kanya ay algebraic expression. So, a statement containing one or more terms connected by plus and minus sign. So, for example, itong tatlong to, these are all terms. No, terms lang sila kasi tigi isa sila. Pero pag pinagdugtong na sila ng minus or plus sign, this one is already an algebraic expression. So, another example, yung 2L at 2W natin, separately, we call them terms. Pero pag pinagsama na natin sila or pinagdugtong using the plus sign, that one is already an expression. Okay? So, kapag dinuktong na natin yung equals, P. Ano ilan tawag doon? Yan. Ano nang tawag dito sa buong to? If you answered equation, then you're correct, no? So again, equality naman yung may, may ganyan, no? Equation. Okay, so now let us proceed with translating, no? So focus tayo sa translating ng phrases muna. Okay? So basics muna tayo ng phrases. So the translation of phrases will make use of um, different keywords, no? So, pwedeng for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And yung mga keywords na yun eh, are probably introduced to you during your elementary days then nung nagpa-problem solving po kayo. So, for addition, we have the following keywords, no? So, halimbawa, ito yung ating statement. Uh, itong mathematical statement, we have x plus 10, a number plus 10, no? So, again, dahil hindi naman specified yung ating number, yung number, no? This is an unknown, kaya ginamita natin ng variable. So, a number increased by 10, increased by is also a keyword for addition. A number exceeds by 10, 10 more than a number, and 10 greater than a number, no po? So, um, Kung mapapansin nyo, for addition, kung paano nabanggit, ayan, ganun ang sulat. Kung nauna sa nabanggit ay puro variable, edi una variable, then dahil pangalawang binanggit yung number, edi pangalawa yung number, separated by our addition symbol. Exemption dyan, yung terms na more than, greater than, idagdag natin yung term na added to, okay, no, so, kung halimbawa, 10 added to x, okay? So, ito po yung kalalabasan yan. 
no, mababasa nyo baliktad yung pagkakabanggit. So, kapag nakakita po kayo ng phrase na may than, again, yung unang nabanggit sa dulo isusulat, and yung huling nabanggit sa unahan isusulat. So, itry po natin itong mga sumusunod. So, we have the sum of x and 17. No? So, itry po muna ninyo sagutan to for a few. Uh, ayan, sige. So, i-post nyo po yung video and try to answer this on your own. No? So, I'll reveal the answer afterwards. Okay, so let's reveal the answer. So, sana sinagutan nyo po siya na, na ano ah, um, on your own. So, if you find the translation difficult, no, review lang ng review. So, we have the phrase, sum of. Okay, so kahit hindi siya kasama dun sa listahan natin kanina, you already know that the, the word sum pertains to the answer in addition. So, the sum of x and 17 Okay? So, hindi pwedeng plus tapos x at 17 na. Dapat po, understood na na yung isang quantity ay before and yung pangalawang quantity ay after. So, dahil unang nabanggit yung x, lagay natin siya sa unahan. Then, pangalo, dahil pangalawang nabanggit yung 17, lagay natin siya sa dulo. So, it's x plus 17. Next, we have 6 plus a number. So, again, we have the phrase a number. Lahat ng may phrase na a number, papalitan natin ng variable. So, for the sake of uniformity, let us use the letter x. So, 6 plus a number is 6 plus x. Okay? So, um, isa pang bagay kaya po hindi na natin ginagamit yung x to mean multiplication kasi madalas na natin siyang gagamitin as the letter itself so next we have a number increased by 7 so increased by you already know that that is addition then two quantities will be added the first quantity is a number so this is x the second quantity is 7 so yan next a number exceeds by 4. Exceeds by, again, is a keyword for addition. So, a number is x. And after the plus sign, we put 4. Next, so we have 40 more than a number. No po? So, we have the phrases done. Same with the next one. No? So, 40 more than a number. Pag may phrase na done, Kung ano yung unang nabanggit, siya yung sa dulo ilalagay. So, 40 more than is plus 40. Then, a number is x. So, we put x before. Next, we have 5 greater than a number. Okay? So, 5 greater than is x uh, is x plus 5. No? So, again, yung unang nabanggit ay sa dulo nilagay. Next one, 9 added to a number, we have, this is a special phrase then, so this is x plus 9. No po? So, again, yung may phrase na than at saka yung added to, yan, kung ano yung unang nabanggit, siyang sa dulo, ilalagay. So, let's proceed with the keywords for subtraction. So, syempre, kung meron yung addition, meron siyang subtraction counterpart. So, if we have x minus 10, okay, it may also be read as a number minus 10. Pwede rin a number decreased by, kabalik tara ng increased by kanina. No, decreased by, bumaba ng 10. A number less 10, isang unknown number, binawasan ng 10. 10 less than a number, no po, so mas mababa ng 10 kaysa sa isang uh, quantity, no? So, yan. So, for example, ito, try natin itong mga to. So, again, pause the video and try to answer it on your own. Okay, so let's reveal the answer. So, the word difference is the answer in subtraction. So, understood na po na subtraction yan. But, um, it will be placed in between two quantities. Ang two quantities natin ay x at saka 
3. So, this one will be x minus 3. Next, 12 minus a number is simply 12 minus x. Next, a number decreased by 8. So, decreased by is subtraction. A number is the variable x and 8 is on the right side of x. Next, 13 less a number. No? So, we have 13 dahil wala namang word na than to, no? So, it's 13 minus x. Next, a number less than 7. So, it's 7 minus x. So, again, my phrase na than. So, kung ano yung unang nabanggit, siyang sa dulo, ilalagay. So, another keyword that is not included here is the counterpart of the added to phrase. No? We have what we call subtracted from. So, let's say we have 15 subtracted from from a number. No? So, in Tagalog, 15 ibinawas mula sa isang unknown number. So, ibig sabihin, yung unknown number ang babawasan mo. Kaya siya magiging x minus 15. Okay, so let's proceed with keywords for multiplication. So, for multiplication, we have 10 times x, 10 times a number. So, pwede ring multiplied by and uh, pwede ring magkabaliktad. No? So, always remember, sa multiplication lang to ha. Magkabaliktad man ng pagkakabanggit, the number will always be the first one you're going to write. Okay, so 10 times x is 10x. Um, the product of 10 and x is still 10x. The a number multiplied by 10 is still 10x. No, kahit na o na pang nabanggit yung a number. So let us try the following. Uh, by the way, meron pang apala tayong special phrases dito. So, meron din po tayo yung keywords na off a number. No? So, pag off a number, that one is multiplication. Usually, makikita nyo dito sa part na ito ay fraction. No? Okay? So, fraction, then of a number. No? So, part siya. It's multiplication. Then, we also have the phrase twice and thrice. No? So, yung twice, this is two times. Pwede nyong isipin na this is shortened uh, way of right of saying two times. Then we have thrice, we have three times. No? So three times, pinagsama yung word naging thrice. So, uh, ha? You usually hindi na naman makikita yan ng as is lang. No? So meron yan kasama ng equation. So it, let us have the following items. So, try to answer these items first. I'll give you, uh, I pass, uh, pause the video, no? So, pause the video, then try to answer these on your own. Okay, so let's reveal the answer. So, 6 times a number, again, we do not write x na po for multiplication, ha? So, we just write the number and the letter side by side. So, 6 times a number, this one will be 6x. 2 multiplied by a number, this one is 2x. A number multiplied by 18, this is 18x. The product of 15 and a number, this is 15x. Then, one-fourth of a number, this is one-fourth x. And, twice the sum of x and y, dito, una pa rin yung 2. But, since we have two quantities and another operation, so, ipakita natin yung sum of x and y. So, sum of x and y is x plus y. No, so, close quantity, dahil yung twice na yun will distribute sa buong um, phrase na to. 
Okay, so let's proceed with the last one. Keywords for division. So, syempre, nandyan pa rin yung phrase na quotient of, no? So, quotient, kagaya ng addition, po, may sum, ang subtraction, may difference, ang multiplication, may product. No po? So, for division, we have the quotient of, we also have divided by, divided between, cut into, Okay. Ang na, naiba lang ay itong divides. No? So, we have 10 divides a number. Kung baga yun pinang divide yung divisor ang unang nabanggit. Okay? So, let us have the following items. I'll try to pause the video and try to answer this on your own first. Okay? Okay, so let's reveal the answer. A number divided by 5 is x over 5. Na po. So, um, let us get used to using the fraction format to mean division. Next, x divided between 3 people. No, So, it's x over 3. A number cut into 11 equal parts is x over 11. The quotient of x and 5, it's x over 5. x divides 2. So, ibig sabihin yung 2 ang nadinivide ng x. Then, the ratio of two different numbers, this is kahit anong variable. No? So, usually, we have x here. Then, dahil wala namang ibang nabanggit pang number, let's use another variable. We have y. But then again, pwede po kahit anong variable, ha? pwedeng A over B, pwedeng C over D. No po? So, basta po magkaiba yung variable kasi sabi dito, two different numbers. So, that would be all for the keywords for, div for division. No po? So, practice some more. Answer the lesson on your LMS. Okay? Para po mas ma-practice kayo. I'll see you on the next video.